This conference will now be recorded. Hello. Hello, am I audible?
Hello? Am I audible? Yes, now you are audible. Am I yeah, audible now? It's... Okay. Yes, now yes. it's fine. Okay. Am I audible now to you all? Yes. One confirm on the mic. Yeah, okay. yes, I can hear you. All right. Yeah. So I guess you didn't understood what I was talking about then. So let me take you a talk, take you again to the what we have discussed. Right. Uh, so we are talking about you know how to install Tosca. So whenever uh, we download a Tosca version from a support portal, we see it in this gonna download okay and this will be you know most of the time you will see it is it's a big in size if you don't see this you know a huge number in size then that's the wrong file for you okay so when you come to this uh, you can just simply double click open or run as administrator anything is fine then it will open the setup screen for you since I already have this Tyson Disk Tosca installed in my machine, it is giving me these three options, repair, uninstall, and modify. But it will give you a different option when you are first time, you know, downloading the Tyson Disk Tosca in your machine. So this is the screen that it will give you. Welcome to Tyson Disk Tosca. And then it will ask you an agree check mark for the license terms and conditions, and then continue. Then the next screen which will pop up is uh, you have to select the type of setup that you want to install. So what are the types of uh, installation that we see is Tosca Commander, Execution Agent, Custom Installation. So these are the three uh, setup types are available with Tosca. What is uh, what is meaning of the Tosca Commander Execution and Custom Installation is simple uh, that Tosca Commander is the complete uh, setup of the Tosca uh, automation tool. Okay, so when you go with the type Tosca Commander, it's the default. It's a standard installation that will have all the features, all the engines uh, in it, and you can you know uh, do the development of your test cases. The second one is the execution agent. The execution agent is basically used for when we want to you know execute or uh, we want to use this tosca space or tosca commander or tosca installation only for execution purpose when i say that it is majorly used in the dex execution distributed execution okay when i say that tosca can execute in multiple machines the same test case or the parallelly they can you know execute the test cases so it will execute in multiple machines, right? So in those machines, we will not install the complete Tosca commander. Instead, we will only install the execution agent, okay? Which will run, which will uh, help the distributed execution uh, to work, okay? To execute the test cases without installing the Tosca commander in any workspace. And then we have custom installation. Custom installation is the option that you can, you know, go and check box on uh, what what are the what are the engines or anything you want to exclude from these packages. Basically, you can exclude Tosca data integrity. You can exclude uh, this present division AI distributed so execution. So these, uh, you know, engines you can you know, just customize. But uh, we suggest you do not go with any custom installation unless until you are an expert in that field and uh, that is not even you know when you have the option of you know having the whole tool getting installed with the tosca commander option just let's stick to that because that will give you all the features to you know explore so you just click on next uh, so for this course and for your training as well you just select the tosca commander and go to the next then it says you that it will go to the prerequisite which are these files from microsoft uh, .NET framework visual c plus plus and .NET framework files which is uh, required for tosca tool you can see the icon indicates that component is already available in your 
uh, machine if it is not then it will show you a download option so you don't have to download manually you just need to click click on next so it will you know download all for you in case sometimes what we have seen uh, that the uh, people when you know try to put click on next in this uh, step they get an federal error uh, something with the microsoft dot uh, framework or some dlls right so at that moment just try to see what is the exact error okay and uh, you can uh, try to you know sub go to the support portal and see or else the best part would be you start the reinstallation process again okay and maybe and then uh, uh, you can you should see that that issue should be resolved so that's that's that these are the you know uh, if these are not present oscar installs it for you so it means that an internet connection an active internet connection is required while the tosca installation if you don't have these files then you have uh, already you know where we talked about the setup type as you say that performs the default installation is a tosca commander execution only for engines 3.0 it can only and you know like you cannot do the development in execution agent you cannot develop test cases you can only develop test cases when you have tosca command installation full installation okay so this can see that it includes and then we have uh, destination drives these are the default drives by the way when you work with tosca mean uh, you know you should be able to you know by heart and uh, always you know try to memorize like where exactly tosca installs so basically these are the paths which are default uh, path for tosca to install right program file 86 try and test tosca test suit then you have tc tosca projects where you have tosca commander workspaces and then you have uh, a data path which is program data so i can uh, show you in my machine as well in any machine when you install and we mostly you know don't uh, try to change this path uh, let this path to be that same way because uh, it's legit and you can see this is the home folder for tosca test suit once it is in installed you can see tosca commander folder tbox folder settings and many other uh, features folder we have so this is the tosca commander home folder all the dlls and files for the tool is present here and this is for the tbox engines as i mentioned already that it has you know uh, different types of engines uh, to automate the test cases for you for the technologies so this is the home folder of uh, tricentis tosca i suggest you not to you know change that and then we have c tosca projects this is also created by tricentis itself tosca itself you don't have to create these folders it will automatically create when you install so as you can see in the tosca projects there's tosca workspace tosca commander and then tosca common repositories right so what we have mostly the workspace every every workspace is stored in the tosca workspace folder you can see these are my workspaces if i go inside then this is the file of the workspace tws file that's the extension of tosca workspace okay we don't have to uh, you know work about tosca common repositories it is just fine you don't have much work there we have tosca commander folder where you will find some resources like standard modules uh, which are supplied default by tosca these are standard modules so uh, i would suggest for every you know like every version of tosca mostly the major release will have some additional standard modules okay so with every standard subset which is supplied by tosca you will get if something newly is added in the new release you will get them in the new supply okay with the new download and uh, then you have some uh, folders created these are default folders where you click click it stores the screenshots of your test cases when failed then we have some other uh, sample subsets which are available apart from this we have templates and other things yeah this is the folders and then we don't have to do anything here just leave it as it is you can just click on this and go next 
and then enable uh, transcend is update service you don't have to do this anywhere okay we don't have to uh, add any update service feature because we are not using that, right so just don't enable it just keep it unchecked and don't go next and you can also uh, not enable this as of now because this is Tosca data integrity functionality. We can also see, we can also enable this from once we have installed the Tosca commander. Okay, so we can just uncheck this because it requires Tosca data integrity licenses. If you don't have the licenses, then it will show you always, you know, a pop up. You don't have the Tosca add in, data integrity add in every time. So just to avoid it, just uh, don't check this, don't enable this, and go to next. Then you have configure uh, Vision AI. You can check this install Vision AI engine. It's kind of uh, currently we have, you know, like this server. This is a public server which is hosted by Tricentis. We can always connect to this uh, server. Okay. All right. Are you all able to see my screen? Yes. Yes. Yeah. That for all. Okay. Yeah. Let's go to the next screen. This is this is what custom setup looks. You can just see. You can check and uncheck the things, the features, and it then creates a size for you. It's all included in Task Commander. But yeah, we will go with the Tosca Commander default settings. This is something coming in the new update. Okay, this is Tricentis Tosca 2023 version 2. This is the latest, but in the in the 15.2 or 16.2, you don't have these options, right? Browser extensions. If you disable auto update, you can't disable auto update in your browser. Okay. So these are like for your extensions. It's a new feature that has Tosca has in, 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 uh, introduced. Choose your browser extensions. If you disable auto update, you can't disable or update extension directly in your browser. Okay. So basically when you want to see, uh, we'll come to the extension part. I'll show you what extension this is talking about. We have to download one extension. This is called Tricentis Tosca. A browser extension so every browser is has its own extension that we have to download from chrome store okay uh, chrome will have its own uh, sorry with uh, with their respective store chrome will have its own uh, chrome store in the chrome store uh, edge is having a different extension my firefox has different or else if you don't find them in their store you can also come to support portal and uh, get them okay you can see these links uh, for the documentation how you want to set them then it will review the installation you don't have to do anything here just click on install once you click on install it will show the installation process it will complete one by one uh, installation the features that we have already you know selected plus commander t box integrity and other stuff right and then we will finish the, after finishing the installation it will look like this okay that means if you see this screen install completed finish all the engines and all the features are completely installed it will show you a green tick mark that means you have successfully installed tosca command okay then you click on finish and it will it will you know launch tosca commander if it doesn't launch well and good if it launch also that's fine you can just close it and as a tip I would suggest you to you know restart your machine after you install this Tosca commander. Okay, because many of the times you know when you install a new Tosca uh, new application, there are some services which needs to be started when once the system gets start or when we you know start the application full fluidly. With Tosca, we have experienced and we have seen uh, that. Uh, it is a best practice that we follow is uh, when we install after the installation we just restart once and then open tosca commander okay so how we open the tosca commander is simple we just go and uh, search for tosca commander it will automatically come up when you write tosca you can see 
I can just cancel this setup and we can open Tosca Commander. Any questions up to this in the installation process? No, I guess. Okay. So yeah, my Tosca commander has been started. As you can see, this is already, these are the workspaces I've created. For example, for now, just leave this, for example, just see that first step and advanced example will be the only two workspaces which will be created in the first installation. Okay. You will only see these two as a default which will be coming with your installation. Now, we will talk about, you know, uh, Tosca Commander and the workspaces when we see these two buttons, open and create new, right? Open is simple. We It will automatically go to the C Tosca Projects workspace for path, you can see, and it will go to the workspace folder path. You just need to uh, go inside it and just select this TWS file and if you can open it will open for you if the workspace is already created okay in our case we have not created the workspace for example we will going to create new so we'll just click on this create new button okay once we click on this create new button we see a wizard this is actually these are called wizards okay these you see this pop-ups right big big screens everywhere when you you know try to scan or uh, do something it, there will be wizards opening so this is one of the component i was talking about right so now we have configured workspace common repository and then we have a type of repository what is select type of repository so we have a single user workspace which is just uh for a single user as a local workspace and then we have also option to create multi-user workspace right which is which uh for which tosca supports to for the databases like sqlite oracle ms sql server and db2 so these are the databases uh which are supported with tosca if you want to create a multi-user workspace okay now uh what is the difference between a multi-user workspace and single user workspace it's a simple thing single user workspace is only for a single person who is working in a local and he cannot share his project or her project with other team members okay they, they will the other team members or other person will never have have any access to this project to or to his or her workspace okay that is single user and it doesn't have any check-in check-out method we'll, we'll see the check-in check-out method and for multi common uh, multiple user like common repository this is a multiple user repository it means that it is a shared repository so every uh, everyone in the team member like all the team members who have access to this workspace will be able to see the work and we will we'll see the updated code and uh, they can also try to contribute the test cases <clears throat> okay so if we select a single user workspace you don't have to do anything you just give have to give a name select the name for the new workspace you can give as test and uh, use this use workspace template this is basically when you check this it will automatically load the standard subset from the same path see this path okay this is a standard subset this is a standard subset which is which has been uh, you know supplied with the this installation file okay now once you click on ok it will create a new workspace it will be quite faster uh, this is <clears throat> this is completely new workspace you are creating you can click on close or it will automatically you know open for you yeah so you are into the Tosca command okay so this is the first view of uh, Tosca commander once you install and create a workspace for yourself to start practicing then uh, this will be the first look even if you create a common repository this will be the first look because 
um, it you see these are the sections so, so these are the sections and this is the view pane on the uh, left hand side on the right hand side you see this is the working pane okay so that's how it is categorized so this is the section tabs okay all the sections of tosca uh, commander or the will be displayed here as a as a tabs and then on the left hand side you will you will have the view pane why it is called a view pane because you can you know expand the uh, complete tree of your folders and test cases that you have so it gives you a very good view of what is what you know under and uh, how is my structure of test cases so this is the view that you get and when you click on any of the test cases here you can see this working pane is showing you the values and uh, action modes right so this is this is what we have to work with so this is a working pane you have you can uh, create or you can just input the value you can edit it you can select the action mode so this is basically creating test cases on this side right you can do both the functions the functions of dragging and drop is uh, you can do anywhere uh, you will see it obviously okay and when you call the sections, when we see the sections, test case section, execution section, module section, we will go one by one every section, right? We're going to talk about in this course. And uh, this is how, you know, Tosca Commander looks when you install, uh, install it for the first time and log into it. Okay. Now, um, very important that so we need we know that these are the you know sections uh, one test case section is there model section is there you can see every section is there okay so this is one uh, like uh, parent for test case design this is parent for test cases but wo what is the root of this whole project when i say when i say that okay i'm going to work in a project right or a, or a repository has been created so you see this on top this project in the home section this project is the root of all these sections as you can see once i click on this project it comes like this it gives you the name of the workspace that you given at the time of creating the new workspace right it it sets the same name as a project name you can change the project name as well as you want and if you just you know right click on this bar and doc as tab document it will place it in the section so this is the project root of everything you can say the start and then you have configuration execution sections module section all the sections you can create under this project and under the project you can create these are default okay this will come as default you cannot create another modules folder you see there is no option what is the option that is given is that you can folder right so component folder is basically what component folder is will act like a, a project root for a particular project for example i want to distribute uh, things in a in into different different projects okay uh, i have one project root and then i have multiple project like i have project a Then I can just copy paste and I can name it as project B, right? And I can do or so on, right? It's so easy. And uh, you can see this put project C. So it will <clears throat> come according to the order. And inside this, I can see, I can get, you know, all the other options to create, like all the folders, sections, execution, modules, requirements, test case design right i can create this is module and these colors right so you have to always remember the color so this is test case section this is green section is execution blue section is test case uh, orange section is module red section is called test case design uh, these are the main and the yellow section is the requirements so these are the major sections that you need to you know know 
and these are the only sections you need to majorly focus as a priority level i would say you should go with the priority of modules test cases test case design execution that's it requirements is not much necessary okay requirements is something uh it, it's with business it with the business people like and uh, the and the stakeholders when they want to or in, in, a, in a project when you want to uh weight the requirements like when we get when we start a testing project or development project right we we trace the requirements how we are uh, testing the requirements that has been provided by client so that is something you can also do in tosca in requirements section modules is basically when you, where you can create your modules scanning and everything right execution sections execution test cases building test cases so this is component will act like a root folder for a particular project as you can see I, I have to root and I have all the sections and also in the component I can create one right and this way we actually maintain the projects inside every uh, uh, enterprise ca customer or companies yes does anyone has questions yes yeah so uh, once we create the uh, inside the project once we create the reports requirements and test case design uh, folders right can we delete these uh, below ones which one this one uh, below yeah no you these cannot things, yeah. no cannot. these are default as i said okay. this will come as a project root this will come with the project root always okay so you cannot okay. delete okay. them got it all right so you can you just you can just ignore it in case if you don't want to use them right but what we do is we keep our standard modules here only that's the best practice okay okay so whatever standard modules which comes we should go into the modules folder of our root project and other things uh, reporting section is important when you you know when you want to uh, print reports you should not uh, play with this and one thing is important is configurations so we handle the all the configurations mostly from this folder only on the project level we can create multiple configurations if you want and you can rename them as you want okay you can also do it for project specific or you can do for the uh testing specific like this is for mobile this is test data flood api you can create one for performance so depending upon you we'll talk more about configurations so this is uh any questions up to this okay in order to you know, like you can, you can see this, uh, see these these options, these options what, where we you know play around. There's a scratch book, and then this is for your section. If you if you don't find any section here, or you can just remove the section and you can again add it from here itself. Okay, will come. Right click doc as document. It will come again. Okay. You can remove these issues, the sections which you don't need, you should, it's always better to remove them and only focus on the remaining ones. How we create a test case, it's very simple. Uh, as you can see, these are the standard modules which are downloaded, uh, imported, right? So for example, if I want to use uh, this tbox set buffer module, this is a standard module again, and I want to create a test case, right? I can just simply drag it into the test case folder and or any folder you can also create a separate folder for yourself and you can just drag it here okay so it will create a new test case for you you see this is a new test case and that step actually modules are actually steps okay those are not test cases so all the modules will act like steps in a test case so when i drag the module there was no test case created right so it automatically created a test case for this step if i don't have a test case if i want to create a test case i can also create a test case from this as you can see this is the icon for create a test case this is for business test case business test case we don't have to create these test cases are only for analysis purpose okay 
we don't execute them also it, it doesn't execute we only create test cases uh, when you create test cases, it will create test cases for you with the name and you can see the work state of every test case here okay and going to the other options these options as you can see update all check in all check out and check out tree these options comes with the common repository when you are working with the multi user repository okay that we we will see in a in a in a moment and then you will see these options will be enabled i will then we will talk about this and you can see that this is import export options uh, we can also import and export um, subsets right even if we haven't so for example if we didn't add any standard modules here right we can also import it from uh, uh, like from the outside so for example i want to import something for project b or project a okay so i will just go here or maybe if you if i go here in the module section i can still or in the project section and you can see import is enabled i can click on this it will go and look for it will ask for you know tce or tsu uh extension of the file so we can just simply add this tosca guided tour subset for example and it added you this module see it mo added modules in the modules folder test cases in test cases folder execution in execution folder but for example if you haven't created this already then it will create one more import folder for you okay for example we import this in project b you can also import from here you see these options right right click and these options are there you can import and export subset from here as well or from here if i just import it again it will it will obviously ask me uh, like if you want to merge because these are duplicate i'm i'm adding them again right so i will say that okay merge let me just import again or maybe just try to osv as this different subset you see so now see it create has created an import component and then it in the import it has created everything test cases modules whatever we have in the subset so that's the way you import the subset and when you want to export something like you want to share it with someone or you want to you know share some solutions that you have built here or some test cases you want you know if the repositories are not same or not common and they all are like you are working with your colleague and uh, he or she is having a different uh, uh, workspace it's not a common repository then you export things so what you can do you can simply right click or you know export subset or you can also click on here and it will ask you which where you want to export right i'll just export it here once export i can name it and just save it it will start export so you can see here down on the left hand side here uh, is the actual status all of all whatever our actions which are performed in here in Tosca. so when you see here it will see that export tsu is already exported and this file can be imported again in Tosca to view the subset okay any questions up to here yeah brahma yeah yeah so yes we can see this different modules here that is under inside test and under uh, project to the project a project b the project c right? what are the difference these uh, are the modules so which one we can use it for these things yeah so these modules are which I imported are only specific to what is being lit written here. For example, this is for Tosca guided tour subset. Okay. So subset is nothing but all the objects of Tosca. So it may contain test cases. If if it contains test cases, for example, you have created this test case. Okay. This test case will work. How it will work? All these are what? These are modules, right? Because every module is a step for task tosca right these are our modules so it will also export when you export it or when you want to import it will it will go along and if this test case 
is in the execution list but like for example if we have created any execution list uh, to you know execute that test case then the execution list will also come in this picture so whatever whatever it is linked to it will all come if for example there is no execution list for this uh, test case right so the execution list part will not come in your import or export it will only come module and test case and if for example if you are just exporting modules so if it is it has been used in the test cases so the test cases will also go together i hope i answer your question yes then outside of this uh, modules can be deleted right what are there is under test modules yes, test yes, cases yes. Law, yes, yes, you can delete them. So you don't have okay. to import. I'm just showing you the import and export method, what it is for. Okay, only thing you have to do is you should always have, everyone should have a standard modules in their project if you want to work with Tosca because these standard modules are the modules or the operations, you know, the basic or logical operations that we want to perform with Tosca and for that application. So you can see some basic windows operations like taking a screenshot a clipboard send keys keys um, like uh, sending the keys windows operation basically to identify the windows right save as dialog and then we have some other operations file operations like comparing file existence to check if the file is existing or not so how we will do these things with the help of standard modules okay so we have to check always like is there any standard module available for some standard uh, generic operations that we want to perform okay so tosca will always have it and it also has some engine specific like technology specific modules right for example html html means web right so all the web related some modules standard modules uh, tosca has already created like for example close the browser open the url so these are the standard modules you will also get with every uh, technologies like for database you need open connection run sql statement right and for uh, sap you need something sap modules are very much uh, you know like lots of support and compatibility is already present with sap uh, so you see these modules these are very important so only we need to you know these are standard modules by tosca these are default modules and there are different modules that we can create by scanning our own okay yeah so this is manual test case we don't have to you know record any if for example if you want to record any instance if you want to perform any uh, uh, recorder this is a recorder option actually so what you can do uh, automated test cases so once you start the recorder it automatically you know uh, captures the screen for you and create test cases for you this is this but it is it, it doesn't uh, actually you cannot rely on this and this is not so powerful uh, that we see that we think that it can you know whatever actions we perform and it can record and create test cases but that is not a feasible solution instead the best approach what we do is to scan the application and create the modules by our own that's the ethical and legit way to automate yeah any questions brahma you have any question i know some that is fine Okay. And while creating, so, if we create like that yeah. for single instance, uh, I mean, uh, can you mean uh, single to multiple, multiple to single? We can update it later once you create the workspace. No, you cannot. Uh, once it is created a single user workspace, you cannot convert that workspace into multiple, like common common workspace. Okay. And if once you have created common user workspace, which is a common repository, multiple user, then you cannot go back to a single user workspace whatever you create it will create for once or else you delete it but what you can do is you can move things around okay if you if you for example today you are working in a single user workspace now 
and whatever work you have done i have done in this and tomorrow your company says or maybe project manager says hey we have to share this project with client and we whatever you have done poc or everything anything with tosca uh, we need to share it with them and then we have to work with them so what you will do in that case that's what i was explaining that you can simply export the subset okay so whichever thing you will export for example if i'm exporting project b so it will export all the things inside the project b if i export the whole project it will export the whole project root so what we do once we export and then we import it in the new uh, workspace so it comes like okay so it is now becoming shared understood that's how you can uh, do the uh, sharing of the of the artifacts but you cannot convert us convert the workspace itself into a different uh, type Okay. All right. So this is the other options that we see: view, tools. Uh, tools is where you see all the buffers. The buffer buffer is basically a variable, right? Whatever variable and the value that I will save that will show up here. In API testing, you will all you will see all the information, all the options regarding API. So this is the API scan which once you click it will create it will open as a standard application like standalone application for you and this will look like this standalone and this is the icon of api application tosca api scan and this is your tosca commander and this is all connected both are connected whenever you you know want to create we will we'll see how api test cases are created at that time i'll show you how apis we scan and create a test case out of it So this is, and then there's one more project. We people mostly, you know, confuse which project, which project. So I always, you know, tend to use project root and then project options. Okay. So project settings. So this project on the left hand corner, extreme left hand corner, you can see is uh, the project which will take you to the settings page and options page for the Tosca commander and workspace settings. And all uh, and this project root is the project root of your objects okay so when you click on this project you can see the settings file folder uh, option this is the settings of tosca commander and these stays only to your local work called tosca commander okay even if you create any tosca workspace which is common but these settings will not go to or not be shared with their tosca commander because these settings are only done on the tosca commander level which is installed in your machine okay so these are the settings of tosca commander as you can see all the settings are available we will uh, surely come across the settings you know when we discuss about uh, recovery scenarios and other uh, things in the course we will always come to the settings and you know we have to set some things in the setting to work out so you can see special dates string operations synchronization right logging options screenshots creating what what are the settings you want to do so these are available in tbox and general commander and services so these are like categorized all these settings are basically stored in an XML file in this path. You see on the top C program 586, Tosca test suit settings, XML, meta settings.xml. Right? It is in XML format, it will be only always there in this path. But don't uh, I would say don't uh, go with this file, any any manipulation. If you want to set any settings, you should always do it with this settings wizard dialog box. Okay. So yeah that's about uh, tosca commander and uh, we have the options as well these are options you can you know see there are many options that are available uh, with tosca commander to use you can see the features enforce tbox execution create logs so everything has its own feature so you can see this return licenses on idle timeout minus one which means it will not return but if i do you know one two three or five which means a minute, a one minute. After one minute, if you're if you're idle on Tosca Commander, if you're not doing any action, 
then it will automatically return the license to the cloud or to the on-premise server basically so that other person can use right so these are some uh, options for test cases execution list you can see these options are also available in the view here you can see general right hints workspace size and then the major ones I, as i was telling you that when you don't enable tosca integrity right data integrity then you can come here in options and also in enable here directly and press apply okay okay if you don't choose there while installation you can always go and come here and enable that it will do the same thing and then it has uh, many other options so yeah we will come across some of them um, not all options are required uh, every time there are some special simple settings you can say like enable uh, null instances empty instances for test case design these are good so that's some required uh, settings and options for you this is a save button you can save your work for single user workspace but for a multi-user workspace we will always check in check out free right i'll just uh, close this like if i close it without saving it will ask me to save the changes i've closed this let me show you uh, a common repository error uh, quickly that is what is left and uh, uh we, we will see the creation later maybe uh, in the next session how we create basically you can just simply select any of the uh, database and you have to give the connection string to the database if i don't have a database for example oracle or db2 anything you will it will need a connection string connection string is basically including server address database name username and password of the database server okay so and this sqlite sqlite is basically you know you can create anywhere in the in the as a file so these SQLites are basically the .db files, okay? Very lightweight and it is only suggested for very small projects or POC kind of projects only. But it is always a best practice and suggested that if you want to, you know, set up a project, testing project, test automation project with Tosca, you should always go with database, okay? Go with any Oracle, MS SQL Server, DB2, any, any, any one of your choice as per your convenience. But most of them, you know, they go with MS SQL Server because that's very easy to set up. Uh, and uh, most of the people, you know, like have Azure platforms and Oracle is second and then DB2. You see this option, use existing repository. Uh, we have to uncheck this if we are creating this for the first time. Okay. A common repository, a multiple user workspace. If for the first time, then you have to uncheck this. If you want, if you if it is already created by someone from your admin then you need to check this and get the details from the admin okay your team that okay where i have to create what is the connection string well, are we using any database right if you're using sqlite then what is the uh, network location because in sqlite we always create the db uh, in a network shared path because it should be accessible with everyone in the team okay for now, I'm just creating in the default path, which is Tosca common repositories. And uh, I'm just using this use existing. No, if I use existing, I can also go to the path and I can see Tosca projects, Tosca common repository. I've already common, right? Tosca common. You see this Tosca common repository. Okay. You see master branching is just basically the uh, versioning of it but i would suggest don't use this it's not uh, a good choice and i can just select any name uh, i have to give a new name meaning project maybe because i'm using existing uh for this new one it will be simple new it will give you an option to create a slim workspace and uh, but i would suggest don't create any slim workspace you need a full workspace okay when you want to start with development so once you click on this it will start creating it will already you know access to the my repository it is using the same common repository 
and i have created now two workspace in the same machine right like you can uh, let me just show and for first time you will never have any admin user right you can just if you click on login it will not enter if i click i will just give any admin user it will log in. the first time it will be the username will be admin without any password okay and later you can set it up once you are into the inside the workspace now you can see this update all check in all and these options are available for me right so this is about the common workspace so we will discuss more in the next coming sessions i guess uh, because that will be more you know uh, to you to download and uh, we will see so for the next sessions i would suggest like if you start making you know enrollments and payments then uh, uh, we will be you know meeting to the next sessions and we will be deep doing the deep dive uh, with all the options and the next course content that we discussed okay any questions so far yes brahma yeah, so do you have any navigation document to install this uh, software and like is uh, uh, so, uh, Sorry? Navigation. navigation document for this uh, for installation and no, do you install the license key also? License key, uh, we can give you one doc, one pro, one video to you know follow for uh, the license. And for installation, you can, you know, simply go to this link and find, uh, you can see the installation steps. And uh, for license, as I suggested already, you can, you know, register in this support portal. Register yourself with the company ID or your self email ID. And uh, yesterday I had given that link in the chat. Let me send you today again. If you go to the tricentis.com, you see this trials and demos, right? You can request for a free trial from here and you can fill up the details here and as it goes you can just go next next and then it will automatically give you a 14 day trial for you i'll just reach i'll share this link to you as well yeah in the chat it is yeah correct we have in the document for this one later on just for like this again go through this i mean after 10 days or something there may be chance to forget the other navigation steps right how can you go and there all these things i have shared the link to you there are two links okay. there's one link is this and then once you get the licenses and everything it will automatically it will email you download this from the toss this once you fill up this form right tosca will automatically send you emails so, okay go and download this from this page right so they will send you the links for Tosca download and uh, licenses in the email. You just need to install. And, and the second link which I gave you, right? This is for the setup. You can fo follow this. And you can also refer to our uh, video, this video recorded session, which I have already mentioned everything like uh, what we have to choose and uh, in which options, right? Okay. Okay, fine. Okay. All right, then. Thank you, everyone. Thank you very much for joining this session. And uh, I hope you have got to learn some new things today. And if you have any questions or doubts, you can just, uh, you can obviously uh, connect in person or we can uh, discuss in our sessions, right? And yeah, you can make enrollments and payments for uh, attending the next sessions. Yes, Brahma. You have tomorrow we have session. Yeah, there tomorrow will be session. sessions on Monday again. I guess. Okay, so only that uh, from Monday to Friday only. There are no sessions on Saturday. Bye.